Can the Georgia Bulldogs win back-to-back -back national championships on Monday? Yeah, they could, y'all, but I don't know, man. This TCU team looks like they could play with anybody in the country. So Jake Roos, who is the senior recruiting analyst for Dogs HQ, is here, and we're going to talk hashtag Go Dogs and the national championship. Uh, Jake, I mean, there's only two teams that have done it in the college football playoff era and only seven in the history of college football. Can the Dogs repeat as national championships and if they do they have to do what yeah i think they can repeat uh, for sure brandon i think that they've got a really a good shot to do so to be honest with you um you know for georgia it's really just about playing their game uh staying within what they do and do well and that's uh you know control the football play strong on defense and really just uh protect the ball um you know i think that we've seen instances where they've uh kind of maybe not done as great of a job of that over the year and it, it's hurt them. Um, you know, we saw that against Ohio state, uh, you know, instances where they could have capitalized and didn't. Um, so the past defense has to really step up for this one. Uh, that's going to be key against a TCU team like this, but uh, Georgia is certainly, I think in a good spot for this game. I mean, undefeated, they're playing for their second uh, national championship in consecutive years. I mean, what, what about this team? Could what, what, How can they get in trouble? What are some of the weaknesses of this Georgia Bulldog football team that can get them beat uh, on Monday? Yeah, I think playing outside of themselves. Like I said, you know, they play their game and they can they can really have a great shot of pulling this thing off. But, you know, they get away from what they do. You know, Stetson Bennett, we saw him last uh, week try to create maybe a bit too much um, uh, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, kind of go rogue on a few things. That didn't work out for him or Georgia, and uh, they ended up paying the consequences for it. But, uh, you know, I think that the pass defense is another instance that they're going to have to really focus on. Some talented wide receivers on that TCU team, Max Duggan, uh, a tremendous quarterback as well. Uh, the Georgia Bulldogs have to uh, play their defensive game, but if they stay on top of it, I think they've got a really nice shot. Yeah, I slept on TCU all throughout the season. I mean, they're, they're like no doles now. They woke me all the way up. So let's talk about this Bulldog team, man. If they're going to win back-to-back -back national championships, if they do, I mean, where would you rank this team in terms of the best college football teams in NCAA history? You'd have to consider them high. Uh, like you said, it's not something that's been done very much. Kirby Smart, uh, what an impressive run. I, I don't know that going into this year, people had the same expectations as they did last year, given all the players Georgia lost to the draft. 15 guys leave and go to the NFL, uh, including a couple first rounders, uh, five, in fact, from the defense. So, you know, they really uh, were, were down, I think, in a lot of eyes this year. Uh, and to come back and do what they've done almost uh, in a no-name fashion. It's not like there have been a ton of standouts. It's a by committee team for sure uh Stetson Bennett clearly the face of it but uh Georgia really putting together an impressive run if they pull it off this year uh you'd have to rank them among the tip the best of all time no question they don't rebuild they reload really quick I'm gonna put you on the spot give me your prediction final score for that game it's going to be a tight one, man. I, I think that uh, Georgia is uh, going to have its hands full with TCU uh, because they're they're like vampires, man. You got to put a stake in the heart of those guys <laughs> uh, to keep them off. So, uh, but I think Georgia pulls this one out. Uh, I'm leaning probably somewhere to, uh, toward uh, 42, 35, something like that for okay. for Georgia, and then uh, TCU. I think probably gets into maybe uh, high 20s, maybe 28, 31, roughly around there. So, so I'll say 42. Uh, I'll say 42, 31 right now. All right, it's going to be a shootout. I like it. People love it. All right, Jake, uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, I know the people for TCU are going to hate me for this one, but go dogs. <laughs> go dogs, man. Thanks for having me.